Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of a vlog style video and we're just going over to our friend Sydney's house where we're gonna go uh, pick up these new wheels she got for her BMW. She's done a couple other mods to her car too, which I'm really excited to show you. And we're just gonna hang out, throw those on the car and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll see you there. All right, boys, so I just met up with one of my friends. We're gonna go for a quick hot lap in the Willys. You made, you said your, your father originally made this uh, body out of wood, right? Oh yeah. That's uh, so plywood. sick. Plywood, four by fours. <laughs> Man, must be a hell of a, hell of a fun ride though. Let's see if I can get this <laughs> There's the FB I, just, I was just talking about in that clip. And this is his uh, four by four rabbit too. What a beauty. Oh man. <laughs> And the little uh, GTI? Uh, R. It's a Golf oh, R. Damn, yeah. that is beautiful. Ooh. And we're off. Yeah, this is a. Uh, just the gears and this. yeah. Man, what a trip though. This is this is fun. It's a fun little rig. <laughs> <laughs> the windshield folds down, so. I feel like you're gonna get ejected out at turns. <laughs> yeah, nothing to hold on to. So right there, it's the 1946 Willys. We just took a ride. See you soon, man. Yeah. What a cool buggy. That was that was a ton of fun. And we're over here at the flea market now, and then we're gonna go meet up with Sid. All right, so you know how we do. Gotta get to breakfast before we work on the car. So we're at IHOP, of course. Loving those trees. If you guys uh, remember my first video on YouTube, we drove all around with the purple truck looking for one of these. And next time, if my truck is done early enough, I'm gonna park right there and get a video with that. So keep that in mind. What's up guys, so we're back at the house now and Sydney's car is here. I just wanted to show you. So I grabbed these license plates at the flea market and in the state of Maine, since my purple truck is a 91, I can legally run one of these 91 plates just on the front of the truck. I'll do it every once in a while. It doesn't really fit the vibe of it, but it's pretty sick. They're uh, the old Maine lobster plates. So I'm looking, I'm pretty excited to run these just every once in a while, little car show thing. But we're gonna lift up Sydney's car now and get those wheels off. We got the car jacked up. All it is, is you're gonna want some jack stands. There's these little plastic squares. Those are your points where you're gonna set your jacks. And I'll show you right in the front of the car over here where you jack this up. We have this metal plate right here. That's where you're gonna wanna slide your jack so you can lift up the whole front of the car. And on the back of the car, you have your differential. And what you just wanna be careful of with your differential is that you don't jack it up on this seam up in here because you don't wanna, you don't wanna put an uneven load on this uh, little cover and then maybe pop a gasket and then you have a leak and it's a whole mess. So just be really careful, make sure you set your safety stands and everything like that. Here are the new wheels. We gotta take all the plastic and cardboard off of them, but I am excited for you guys to see these. Now we're gonna move over here. It's uh, easier to break your lug nuts free when the car's on the ground, but regardless, we've got this. Uh, all you're gonna need is your ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket and your lock key. This can typically be found in the back uh, of the passenger side of your car, like in the trunk, or sometimes it's in your glove box. And what it is, is this little key to get this stud off and essentially instead of lug nuts since it's a german car there are bolts instead of lug nuts but we'll pop these wheels off now out with the old and in with the new there's sydney now she's scraping down the calipers we're going to scrape all these down we're going to tape them off best we can and we're going to put a nice coat of blue on them she wants a uh, blue calipers to match the bmw logo it'll be kind of its secondary color besides black but the wheels are now off so I am excited to see how this comes out. The next step is uh, cutting open those wheels and seeing what they look like. All right, this is what they look like opened up. It's a pretty sick. Ah, uh, cannot wait to see these on the car. We're painting up the calipers now. But man, what a, what a change it's gonna be from the black, the, from the chrome to the black, essentially. So after you get the caliper all uh, prepared, you can start painting it. And it's it's literally just brush paint uh it's kind of like a heat resistant it's specifically for calipers nothing crazy we got to put uh two coats on so we're working on the first now we got to get all the spots so we got a long way to go on this one but i'll show you guys the end result once we're done all of them and then like i said you do one coat 
you wait about an hour or two, you come back out and you put your second coat, you wait about an hour or two, and then you can put your new wheels on. And here we are. We've gotten both coats of the blue done on the car. The calipers are looking really good, actually. They're all hand-painted, so you can go right around the brake calipers and everything else. I mean, really, really happy with the results there. So the next step now is we're going to take our wheels over here. We got them all on package. Got quite a bit of a mess with all the plastic and everything. And uh, we have our new wheel uh, bolts to go into go into their place. They come with a locking uh, locking nut, and we got um, the center caps too that need to go on the wheels. These are gonna really complete the wheels. Give it that uh, give it that contrast instead of just being all black. So really excited to see these on the car. So now the calipers are painted. We're kind of cleaning up our mess right now while we're doing that i'm also instead of using these caps we're actually going to use the bmw caps which you know obviously makes more sense i got the blue tint with the blue calipers going to look amazing so i'm going to start laying these all out around the car getting the lug studs where they need to be and we are going to pretty much throw these on once the calipers are dry so if anybody was curious about the wheel spec they are vmr wheels you can get them right through fitman industries these are the tire specs right here, 235, 40, 19s. I think the old wheels, we're gonna look right now, are, see if we can find that real quick. The old wheels are 17s, so a little bigger, a little more wheel, a little less tire. It's gonna look pretty good. So right here, we've gotten everything prepared. All the wheels are in place. We're gonna lay out the uh, lug studs and get these wheels right on right now. So I'm just going back to this clip for you guys to see it. This is a little bit of a before. And you'll see it in the after. And there it is, guys. We threw the wheels on, the blue calipers. We put the stock center cap on there, with the BMW logo with the blue and the white. And it just looks, it looks amazing. Really, really impressed with how this came out. So uh, probably one of the future steps essentially is these wheels all, all in all are about two inches bigger than the stock. They're 19s, but they're on a 40 profile as the old ones were on a 50 profile. So. Just some talk about some coilovers in the near future. Kind of close up some of that wheel gap to, you know, just give it that little bit better look. Even if she doesn't go slammed, it'll just kind of close up that gap and make it look proportional. But I mean, wow, the black on black with everything else. And some other things too she's done to the car. She just put on this ducktail spoiler. I mean, that looks great. She went with these uh, different mirror caps to kind of give it a little bit more of an aerodynamic. And they, they give it a really good look. And... The, uh, the kidney grill up here is now black instead of a chrome. And all the other trim is black too. So the, you know, the aluminum wheels are just kind of out of place. And don't mind the towels. There's some paint on the ground that we were trying to avoid getting on the wheels while we were working on it. But wow, what a, what a difference that made for this car. This is always a great way to end off like a, a good weekend or any night really. We're always down in OOB. Some of the some of the boys from Endless are pulling through. Ramey, Shaq, T, John. Man, this is this is sick. I love I love this. We just finished up with Sydney's car, so now we're hanging out with some friends and people are just gonna keep pulling through. I know he's on his stock wheels right now, but they look so good. And we're gonna watch John Air out. Oh, he's got the eagle eye, uh, eagle taillights. Oh, so sick. Colby stopped by, Travis stopped by. Here's Sydney's car in the, in the making. John T, Shaq, Ramey, Lex, and probably gonna do it for now, be it for now. I mean, it's just a nice little Sunday night cruise hangout. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna see some more car content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya. Four-way race.